Welcome back everybody. This is Max from Marquee Media Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple HTML and CSS trick. It'll be a card flip. What you'll be able to do is have text on the front and when you hover over it, it'll flip and show text on the back. Um, this is just a, a simple little um, little CSS trick you can do. It um, doesn't require any JavaScript. Um, you can do this. Uh, you could have you know a good about me page or something you know um, it's just something that you can add to your your toolbox um, and ultimately create a more unique website so let's go ahead and hop into it we'll go ahead and erase this code and show you guys what we have going on so I always like to start with this with the CSS for this we're gonna need three different classes okay so your first one we'll go ahead and start out with you'll need a small box that's just what I want to call it and then your other two, you're going to need a front and a back. So that way we can display different content on the front and back. So that's what we'll need. Three main divs. We'll go ahead and actually add this over here. So div class do small box. And then inside of this, you're going to have your front and back. This will be front. And then what we can do is just copy and paste this for time's sake and change this one to back. So if we go ahead and add some text in here, make this front. back all it's gonna say is just friend back now wait let's hop back over to the CSS and start adding in some of our um, styling here so we'll start out with the, the box let's just make this let's just make it a simple 250 by 250 so width and height 250 by 250 now there is actually one other thing that we'll need so Whenever you hover over this, it's going to change. So you do need a, um, a hover class. So you're going to do small box and then hover. And that's where we'll put what happens whenever you hover over it. So just to add a few styling attributes so we can see what's going on here. Let's change your background to this. Um, let's change this one to just Black. Now that'll change once once we put uh, a color on the front and the back side of that, but I just want to have it so I can see what's going on. So right now, can't really see anything. Um, let's go ahead and start adding in um, position relative and the display block. So let's go ahead and start getting into the, the transition here. So that, that's what we're going to add to it. We're going to add a transition. Um, so whenever you hover, it'll give it this rotating effect. So you have to use a WebKit for this WebKit transition. Now, the type of transition we'll be using is transform. Okay, so uh, on this next part, you can either put all or transform. If you have several different transitions, you just want to use transform. If it's your only one and it doesn't really matter, you can just put all here. The next part is going to be how fast this transition happens. So we'll put 0.6 here. Um, and we can play around with that to show you uh, how it um, affects the, how, how it looks whenever you're hovering over it. And then ease, this will just get, make it a nice smooth transition. So now the type of transition you're going to be using is transform. Right? So we want to um, style the transform. Now you don't have to add this part in here. It certainly works without this, but if you do it, it will look very uh, flat. You know, it just doesn't look quite appealing. But if you use Preserve 3D, that'll help uh, give it that 3D and help add some depth to it. So, I mean, as you can see, we still don't have anything yet. If you hover over your text, you can't even see. Um, so, let's start adding some styling before we get into the hover. Let's start adding some styling to the front and the back side of this. So 
Um, for the front side here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the position to this to absolute. Well, actually, first, let's change the, the font color so you can see what's going on here. So change that. Okay, so front and back. Ultimately, what we have to do is take this front and back div right here and stack them on top of each other. That's one of the first things we have to do. Now, the way you can use this, as you may have guessed, is using the position absolute. What this will do is help stack them right on top of each other. Position absolute lets you position the div exactly where you want it. So, bam, they're stacked up on top of each other. Now, um, after this, what we're going to have to do is start adding in our hover effect. So for that, we're going to go to our hover section here and add in our transition. Now, remember, our transition that we're using is transform. So we're going to do WebKit transform. Real simple. Rotate Y and then the amount. So what you want to do is 180 degrees, of course, because that is a uh, full half. Uh, it's a half rotation. So it'll give you the front and back. So as you can see, you're starting to get a little bit of an effect here. Um, still isn't quite uh, doing what it needs to. So the problem is, is that when it rotates, you see it's flipping it, but you can still see all the text. You can see all the text from the front and the back. So we have to add to these two divs here. You want to change back face visibility to hidden. Add this to both of those. Now also on the back side of this, you want to add in your transform again. Transform, rotate, Y, 180 degrees. Bam, and you see it just disappeared. So now we can kind of take a look and see what exactly this is doing here. So front and back. As you see, when you hover over it, the back side is on the, uh, on the flip side of the front. So what we have to do is go in here and let's give this these some height, 250 pixels width. And let's do this for both of them, front and back. And then you want to position that, right? So you're, well, you already have position absolute, but then with position absolute, you can place, you can do top, bottom, left, right. So we'll do top zero, left zero. And that'll put both of these divs at the very top left. Copy and paste that over. So now if we look at this and flip it, bam, it's exactly the same. So that just kind of gives you a quick rundown of a neat little trick. Now you can play around with this, like you could literally change this to like uh, 540 degrees, right? And then we'll just do some crazy stuff. See, it spins like crazy. You can change your speed here. You can put this onto like five seconds, right? So if you do that, it's gonna go super slow. I mean, there's all different kinds of things you could do here. You can even change it to X axis, X axis. So it'll be flipping. On the X axis instead of the Y. Gives you a little bit different effect. Spazzing out because I got on 540, but very simple, cool trick to take advantage of um, when you feel the need to do so. If you have any questions or you have any trouble, comment below. Um, I'll also uh, probably link to the code somewhere if you want to do that. Um, if you have anything that you want to um, learn how to do, just comment below and I'll show you guys how to do that. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to, to like and subscribe, and I'll keep these coming for you.